guys, welcome back. So since I was here, I saw this X3M. And if you don't know, I'm trying to get Lexi into an X3M. So uh, BW Fairfield was kind of let me drive it. And I took it on a test drive and compared to the X5M, it feels a lot more compact. It feels more, almost in, in a, more sportier. And now I haven't driven an F95 yet. I have not driven the new X5M to really compare a difference. But guys, um, driving experience is something that I think you should really see for yourself. Um, I may film again if Lexi decides she wants to come look at this. But for now, um, I'm gonna go over the interior. I'm gonna talk about some of the new changes and we'll just kind of go over it together because actually the, the newer generation uh, BMWs are just still familiar with me. So let's go. And this is the key here. Unlock. It's so coming aside. You can see all the carbon fiber going across here. Guys, look at these seats. Now these are the non-sports seats, I believe. I think there's an upgrade in here where you get a little more bolstering. The light control is a little bit different. Um, you have your roadside markers are actually here instead of um, using the turn stock where you can activate the roadside markers. Got the Harman Kardon sound system. See this X aluminum trim coming across. Everything's all digital. And your M1 and M2 buttons are red as well as your start stop button. Now this car is used so I'm not sure if the start stop button is red for the factory, but I think it is. I think they changed it. Uh, this vehicle has 15,000 miles on it. So, um, but I, I drove it guys. I think, I, I think it may have an aftermarket suspension. I can't say for sure, but it feels really good. It feels really like it hugs the road. So let's get into it. Let's start the vehicle. So one thing I noticed with this transmission compared to the X5M is it still has your drive reverse. This is your shift speed, shift algorithm so you can change your aggressiveness and how well, how long you want it to hold gears. All right, let's come in here. It's all touch screen. So you can do a touch screen or you can come up here. I'm old school, so I prefer just to operate it here because you know I'm just used to that. So press the menu once, shows you more. Press the menu again, you get more options. Um, you go in here to communication, you hit it again, then you have all your communication things here. So it's like you have your main menus and you have different sub menus to go into, as opposed to where you just had a list of menus in the other, uh, the previous generation, previous generation iDrive. All your maps, your vehicle information, um, your iDrive settings, your M, you can configure your M settings in here. So M1, M2, you can do that here. You can configure the X drive for the M settings. But if you do the full drive sport, it's that stability system needs to be turned off. 
So just keep that in mind. Vehicle status. You can see. So everything just looks different, updated. Engine oil. Check control, you check all the different parameters. Right now it's telling me I'm low on fuel. And I guess I drove this thing. It think it feels very compact. It feels like I'm driving a car. It doesn't feel like I'm driving an SUV at all. Notifications. This is tell me the, the basic stuff. But it's cool that this is all touchscreen. Coming through here. Let's see what you can do. I think this is all fixed. I don't think there's anything I can do differently in here. So this doesn't have a head of display, so this is all going through this main menu. All right, everything's here. It's got automatic. All four windows are automatic. You got your power folding mirrors. your blind spot monitor you see the little arrow there you got your hatch button up top we have garage door you get your home link up here so you hit these you get your home link you get your reading lights and then you got your main dome here everything's in that era that BMW um, logo signature here sunroof let's see and then we can do all the way back and the panoramic opens the entire length of the car almost to the back seat double click closes it Check the glove box, damped. Looks like there's some ambient lighting in here too, if you guys can see that. I wonder if there's a way I could change the colors. Let's go to vehicle and let's see if there's a setting in here. I drive settings, probably not. Vehicle settings, lighting, interior lighting. And you can choose, there you go. And you get all the colors in here. I can seriously change all the colors. now. I wish the X5 can do that. Green, lilac, white and lilac. Okay. And I'm moving the knob left and right and up and down depending on rotating it, depending on that's how I'm controlling it. And you can press down on it to do it. Like I said, this is all touch screen, but like I said, I just prefer it this way. There's cross every alert. It's good. And then of course you have your shortcuts. So I'm gonna go straight to navigation or communication. I can just hit that. Or let's go right to the map. And then here we're here. All right. And adjust your seat. You have adjustments for. I'm gonna sit the back, front. Lumbar support down here. Your bolstering, which means that if you turn that on, it, it more it will hug you. Th these will go in, and depending on your body shape, if you need more or less space, or you want that more or less support. Here, your thigh extension. It's right there. You can adjust it, click it in when you need it. Okay, I'm 5'8", I'm sitting behind my seat position, as you can see where I'm at here. And then of course you have your climate control, so if I were to come in here, you can see you got your 
three zone climate control. I can same temperature. I can change the airflow direction. Um, or I can just go back to back to auto. And then of course, if you that it's synced, it will match up to the front. What I talk about here, the panoramic covers this whole length up here. And then there's two cup holders. Let's check out the storage. Okay, storage room. Small family. I'm pretty sure you can do a decent amount with this. Can't see why you couldn't put a couple suitcases. It seems bigger. Actually, it looks bigger than the SQ5. I can tell you that right away. It's bigger than the SQ5. If this is your engine. I believe, I'm not sure if this is a competition or not. I had to look it up. If it is the competition, you're at 500, three horsepower. I'm gonna look it up and I'll find out. I'll put it in here in the bottom of the screen. I'll tell you exact power figures and zero to 60. Right now it says the dealer tag because I went on the test drive. If the car goes back in the lot and go to the generic, BMW a Fairfield thing and then once you buy the car automatically you'll get your license plate a temporary tag with this plate here now once you get registration and everything goes through the DMV it'll automatically update over LTE to your license plate everything's all cool registration is all done online each time the sticker is everything's all renewed so it's pretty cool I mean it is a little pricey but it's different and eventually when all states when more states kind of adapt to this you can kind of have that and not have to worry about changing out your plate every time and wait for plates to come in the mail. So it looks like someone debatched this. Um, you can tell it's debatched a little bit. I'm not sure because it doesn't have anything on it. I'm going to get one more start on it and then we'll, we'll call it quits here. But I want to say thanks again to BW Fairfield for allowing me to do the film. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, just a quick overview of the X3M. It's my first time inside of the X3M. Actually, the first time inside one of the newer um, SUVs. But um, yeah, it was, it was fun to see. It's fun to get there. If you guys are interested in that vehicle, I'll post the link in the description as well as the sales consultant information. So if you guys want to look that car up, um, it'll be in the description. But thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos or have any special requests for any BMW videos, um, any BMW cars you want to see, let me know what you want to see next. All right. Thank you for watching.